All right, YouTubers, what's going on? We have a new knife for 2017. This is the brand new Kershaw Dividend. Just released. Um, got mine today from Blade Ops. So I'm going to pick it up locally. Uh, most major retailers have them right now. Well, here's the model number. Dividend 1812GRY. Great. This is the aluminum version. There's also a FRN version. So let's get into the basic stats on this guy. You're looking at a three inch blade of 420 HC. So same steel that's used on the Kershaw Link, which I think is actually a pretty decent steel, especially for a budget knife. Your overall length is 7.25 inches, closed length four and a quarter. So it's about just about perfect size for me. Um, like I said, three inches of blade, nice steel watch finish, hollow ground. Should be a good slicer. Uh, aluminum, T6 aluminum, gray handles. You have a stainless steel liners on both. You'll see how thin the knife is. I'll go over that in a minute. And your weight is 2.8 ounces. And you have a four position pocket clip. So you can do tip up or tip down, left or right hand carry. Very uh, awesome. See the flag there? Because this one is made in the great country of the United States of America. So I love that Kershaw is doing this again. Making some US made knives. Because for a while there, all they were doing is Chinese stuff. 2.9 ounces. Eh, 2.8, 2.9. Pretty close. So, very lightweight. Um, like I said, 420C. It is a speed safe knife. Flies out nice and smooth. And not too difficult to close with a speed safe. Not a huge speed safe fan. I'd rather have a manual action any day. I did, just so you know, try to de-assist this right when I got it. It does not work. Um, there is no detent without the torsion bar. So, bummer too because it actually flipped really nicely without the speed safe, but you had a little, like, no detent, so you could just shake the blade out. So, no go on the de-assisting on the dividend. But, um, nice speedy, you know, nice flick there. Very little pressure on the flipper with the speed safe flies right out. So, if you like assisted opening knives, this is a must buy. Um, pocket clip is not deep carry. It is kind of the standard Kershaw clip these days. I do... Sorry about that. Pause, guys. So, uh, as I was saying, the pocket clip is the standard one. I do believe the deep carry clips um, will work on this, though. I know they work on the uh, 450. That's got similar, in fact, exact style clip there. Um, so, you could do that if you wanted to. Um, ergonomics, or how does it carry in the pocket? It is extremely thin, guys. I mean, so thin that it's kind of like super thin it's kind of mind boggling boggling okay maybe not but it's very thin so your thickness is 0.45 and that's oh that's with the clip guys okay 0 0.35 0 0.36 we'll call it can you see that oh my batteries are running low you can't really pick that up can't oh there we go 0.357 so 0.36 inches Thick is incredibly thin in the pocket. You're not even going to notice it's there, how lightweight it is, um, only being four and a quarter inch long. It's just one of those EDCs that's going to slip in your pocket and you're going to forget about it. But it has plenty of cutting power when you need it. <laughs> My wife had to come in and get something that made me laugh, sorry. Um, so it carries very nicely in the pocket. Ergonomics are very good. Um, 4.25 inch handle means with a medium sized hand that I have is going to give you about the perfect grip. Uh, if you have larger hands, you so do have a little bit more. So if you have a little bit bigger hands, you're still going to be able to get it on there. Um, the link is a touch bigger and maybe, you know, if it's, you have big hands, that may be the way to go. But this knife is much slimmer. The link is quite a bit thicker in hand. This is much slimmer and lighter weight. So that's what I really like about it. So it has good ergonomics. There's really no hot spots. Um, clip molds really nicely. Comfortable in the reverse grip. Um, comfortable in this grip. I mean, putting a lot of pressure down. You're not going to feel any hot spots. Works great. So good ergonomics. Uh, very nice design, I feel. It has really a good flow with the blade shape with the handle. See how the, the knife kind of flows front to back. Um, Really nice design. This is an in-house Kershaw design. Um, so very well made and very well, very nice design there. Um, some sites have this listed as a modified spear point. I'm definitely calling it more of a worn cliff. It very kind of has the same blade shape as 
the Kershaw leak. I don't have, oh, my wife has a leak, but it's upstairs. Um, here is next to the Kaiser Guru, which has a sheep's foot blade. And I should have grabbed my Insingo, dang it, because I feel like it kind of has a Insingo style blade shape of the Cur of the of the Chris Reeve. I mean, it's not exactly the same, obviously, but it's different than the length. The length of traditional drop point or tanto. This is going to have more of a, uh, like I said, modified worn cliff, kind of like the ZT770 uh, range of knives. So a nice visual, um, visually appealing, absolutely. I like the gray aluminum, it's very handsome. I'm sure they'll come out with more colors. They have with the Link since it's been a huge success and I can imagine this is gonna blow off the shelves for the money. Um, cutting ability, uh, with that nice hollow ground, grind, grind, um, it's gonna be a nice slicer. It's really thinly ground too. Jeez, really, that is so shredded. Get some newspaper here, let's see how it does out of the box. Struggling, but oh no, look at that. That's two pages thick of the print, which is hard to cut. Um, oh, yeah, kind of ripped it there, but you can see how well it slices that. And that's like I said, this stuff's hard to cut when it's too uh, quite thick. So it's plenty sharp out of the box, gonna be a good slicer, um, good for food prep, good for EDC tasks. It's just an overall uh, very um, versatile blade shape and grind. So there you go, that's gonna. No, no issues there at all. Like I said, it's thinly ground, so it's going to be um, a good slicer. You don't have super thick blade stock on that. Look at that. That's what is that? Go back here at the thickest part. It's point, point nine. It's not even an inch. And then down towards the tip, you're going to have point two six. So very. It, you know, starts about an inch and then it really tapers down and it's got a really kind of a, a, a fine tip. But I don't feel like it's going to break. It's not like true worn cliffs have a, like the leak, this has a stronger tip than the leak. The leak has a very, and that's not a true worn cliff either, but it's got a much pointier tip. This has got a stronger tip for sure. Value is off the charts, man. You can pick these up for 40 to $50. No, 45 is what I paid, and that was with tax and everything. I think they're right around 40 bucks on most websites. I saw them at, I mean, Blade Ops had them where I got it. Blade HQ, GP Knives, uh, Knife Center. A bunch of these guys have these in stock. These are hitting the stores like crazy right now. So I would highly recommend this, guys. Under 50 bucks, probably the best made. I, I don't know, that's saying a lot, but one of the best values under $50 for sure. Um, out there right now along with the link as, as well so extremely good value um, easy, for use of this knife I'm gonna go with just a typical EDC knife not gonna say it's a hard use knife it has a liner lock mechanism which you know I don't consider great for um, especially how thin the liner is um, for you know hard use but good everyday EDC knife good for uh, food prep um, carrying in the office because lightweight Carrying this in slacks would totally work because it's so light and thin. So a lot of good, just a very versatile blade from Kershaw. And you can get one for 45 bucks or under. No brainer, guys. Pick one of these guys up. It's awesome. That's my first initial impressions and unboxing of the Kershaw Dividend, new for 2017. Any questions or comments, let's leave them down below. We'll see you in the next video. Oh, before I finish, I almost didn't do the size comparisons. I did the Guru. This is the Spyderco Para 3. It's very similar in size, the ZT0450. Again, very similar in size. The Kaiser Ursa Minor. Gonna be a little bit bigger. Uh, they're about the same size too. So it's a smaller blade, for sure. And then you saw the Guru, we'll do this one again. And I should have a video coming out on this one as well, pretty soon. So, all right guys, now, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, and we'll see you next time.